Welcome once again. Today we will draw orthographic projections of another oblique plane. Here this plane is a rectangular plate of sides 60 by 30 mm with its shorter side in the VP and inclined at 30 degree to the HP. We have to project its top view if its front view is a square of 30 mm long sides. In this type of problem, in initial stage we keep given plane parallel to one of the reference planes depending upon whether it is inclined to HP or VP. But inclination of this rectangular plate with HP or VP is not given directly. Actually, it is inclination of plane is given indirectly. It is stating that plane appears square in front view. It means plane is inclined to VP. So in initial stage, we assume when plane is parallel to VP. If it is parallel to VP, we will draw front view first. In that front view, we will keep the shorter side perpendicular to XY line because that shorter side is inclined to HP. So draw XY line. Draw perpendicular line of length 30 mm. Complete rectangle. Mark all the corner points as A, B, C, D. Now draw its top view. Since this plane is kept on BP, therefore top view will appear in XY line. So project all the points. So this will be your top view of the given plate. B and C are visible and A and D are not visible. Now in second stage, we will draw front view once again because we know that shape of this rectangle in front view is square. So complete this square, draw one vertical line, take any suitable distance here, this vertical line, this distance you can take any distance and after that you complete square, mark these two points, this is A dash, B dash, so this point is C dash and this one is D dash. What we have done is we kept A dash, B dash on VP and tilted this rectangular plate so that it appears as a square in front view. So how much we have tilted that we don't know but we can project this A dash, B dash. A dash, B dash will come in this vertical line and C dash, D dash will come in this vertical line. So we have kept AB here in VP that means AB will be drawn in XY line. So this is my A and B. Now in top view, length of this top view will be same as we obtained in first stage. So measure this length B to C. Take this center B and draw an arc of this length BC which is intersecting this projector at this point. So this point will be C and D. In this way you get top view of this rectangular plate which, which is inclined to VP at an angle which is not known but in front view it appears as square. Third stage we have to tilt this square in such a way that one of the side should make 30 degree. So we have kept this A dash B dash perpendicular to XI line so we will make this A dash B dash inclined to 30 degree. You can see that A dash B dash and C dash D dash both are parallel to each other. You can draw this rectangle inclined to 30 degree. Either you can take this side C dash D dash or you can take this side A dash B dash. So I have drawn one line at an angle of 30 degree. Now in this line I will mark these two points D dash C dash. So anywhere in this line you can mark point D dash first. D dash first and once you have marked this D dash, take the same length equal to D dash, C dash here, mark this point C dash. Once you get this line, you complete this square, draw two perpendicular lines of same length and mark these two points as A dash and B dash. A dash. So this is the final front view of required plane. Now to get top view, draw vertical projectors from all the points. So when you draw horizontal projector from A and B, it is intersecting vertical projector from A dash and B dash at these two points. So these two points are A and B. Now draw horizontal projectors from C and D. And these are inter intersecting. This is C. So this point should be C and this is D. So this point should be D. So mark these two points as C and D. Once you get all these points, join these 
in sequence with thick lines this is your required required top view we still don't know what is the angle of this plate with vp so that angle can be determined you just measure this you can use protector to determine angle angle so when you measure this angle you can see this is coming exactly at 60 degree so measure this and mark this as 60 degree in this way you can complete projection of this plane thank you for watching this video